Day in and day out, you're giving them the courage to say, you know, come on in, the water's warm. Absolutely. This is a trap. We're Your not- staying here is, the courage is contagious, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It does matter. Everyone matters. Everything matters here. In this in this game, it all matters, man. I mean, I think I'll Thank you for stay. still being here, man. Yeah, I think I'll try to stay here for a few more days. Yeah. But I have See what happens. See what happens. But, but I absolutely have to, like, go back to work at some point. Okay. Like, you okay. know. Do you have gas money to get home? Do you have a way to get home at this point? Yeah, I can get home. Okay. I can get home. How long have you been with them? Uh, uh, since Thursday. It's Thursday? Okay. Yeah. Dude, it is taxing on some people. Where are you like, well, Connecticut. If you're a people person, it's exhausting. So you've been with them since uh, uh, Ohio? Well, no, no, no. I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut. So you came down this way. You come with the Northeast? Yeah, I came in the Northeast oh, yeah. people. All right, we were on 84, exit 30, Promised Land uh, State Park exit. Yeah. Me and my kids, my wife, and the homeschool group. Oh, really? Yeah. I probably was here. Yeah. 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 You know what? My wife, she was there most of the time. Um, she said 70% of all people, not the constant, 70%, that was her estimate, she ballpark, 70% of everybody driving by, thumbs up, honking, headlights, FedEx, you, you know, UPS trucks, didn't matter. 70% of this nation is in support of this. No matter how they slice it, no matter how they hide it, no matter how confused we are, no matter how clueless and brainwashed we are, 70% of people support what we're doing and they don't even know what's really going on. You know, the delusions of COVID and the delusions of all the psychological warfare we've been subjected to globally. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. People are looking for the front men to, to hold it down, you know? Yeah. We are out front, baby. We out front. Out front, out front with the worshipers, man. Yeah. I'm telling you what. You know, we'll take out the enemy. The United States Army Infantry, they're uh, saying those are the ground pounders that go into battle on foot, you know. They're saying, follow me, you know. Jesus Christ, follow me. I'm the way, the truth, and the heart. Yeah. Nope. Nope. The world is watching. The world is looking. And just think about this. If we're here for another couple more days, how much more attention is going to be on this? A lot. Because they can't. There was two helicopters over the bypass today. Oh, and they was filming. I'm telling you, they are starting to pay attention. The mainstream ignored Canada for how long? A week? Two weeks? Yeah. Then all of a sudden, they was on Fox. And it was on a new mainstream. And it doesn't matter what the spin is they put on it. Because our social media and our lives will tell the story that we are not splitting up. There's not three semis left. There's not just white right. men. Anything that's such bull crap. That's a slight, a sliver of it. I work with two guys. That's why that's the to make it look like we're out there for, like, nothing. Listen to this. Of course. That's, yeah. that's I mean, not I true. I two guys from New Jersey at work. We're co-workers, right? They came in from Jersey. We came in from PA. We all had uh, met at a building outside of D.C., uh, south, east of D.C. We're building three buildings. We're installing kitchens, hoods, walking boxes, counters. That's just commercial kitchen. That's what we do. So these guys show up. We're talking about the condo. Of course. They're like, oh, that's over, right? It's history. I'm like, what? No. As a matter of fact, it's not. They just don't know. And they support it, right? They don't have time to follow it. They're not all that interested. Mm-hmm. Whether yeah, they're they, hopeless. Yeah, or confused, yeah. It doesn't matter. But they just think that it's done. We came, they did their loop, they went home. That's what they understand. Now, where they got this information from, they're not looking right, for it. But that's right, what they're right, being told right, through right. The, media. the roundabout. Yeah, you know. right. But well, when we said, no, it's not. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> you're going for thir- day three. You know, hello, we're cool. here. And uh, they yeah. said, good, I hope that they really mess things up and really get some attention, you know? Mm-hmm. Even though they thought it was done and over, they oh, still support it. And yeah. they don't even know what's going on. Yeah. And these are two black folks, uh, yeah. great, great co-workers of ours, you know, yeah. down in deep, deep, dirty Jersey, you know? So we're here to keep the story going and to, spin, and to disprove the narrative. Yeah. Not to mention, don't ever, don't ever underestimate the power of men coming together, standing together, of yeah. like mind and unity to, in the spiritual realm. I'm yeah. telling you, there you're, is, we're right. putting a dent. I had a guy who spiritually wise who said, when I drove through D.C. on Monday, I literally felt the shift in the atmosphere because of the lap we'd made the day before, I felt like the movement in the shift. spiritual Just realm. Just in the aura of the energy, in the, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Was anybody at January six? 
I was. I was. I didn't. I felt I like the devil the front, was there but. at the Capitol. Oh, uh, the devil's there. everywhere. Well, 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 like, like, yeah. I like, like, he, like, 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 it just the, it, people, people responded the way that they would wanted us to respond. Mm-hmm. They wanted us to go in there. They wanted people to go in there yeah. and uh, oh, no, and, no, 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 and before and we get to the bad, before mm-hmm. we get to the bad, let's talk about the. But, but, the but, but I think I, I like think that. most of January six was good. Yeah. Most of January six was good. Was Up amazing. until that whole thing you, you happened, you I thought it was great. I thought every I thought it was a great movement. No there was problem. like almost a million people in DC, yes. and when you went and you looked back, all you saw was people. Like when you went, like when I saw the president, I just looked back, and there was probably a quarter million people. Standing there, well, watching them. True, watching them. What they don't tell He's you so is happy, yeah, proud, yeah, yes, right. The yeah. story, angry. yeah. See the story. Yeah. The story wasn't told properly on social media. We could have all been streaming there, and there would have been a different narrative. There was not a lot of people there that were streaming it. Well, they like killed, there are here. Well, they killed. They, they, they the killed the. Uh, they killed oh, they did. Singles. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I couldn't even, find my friends. Uh, everything from. Uh, from Connecticut, oh, I, I was trying to get radio them all weekend, working, and like I yeah. couldn't find them because uh, they they kept jamming the cell single. Yep. Didn't know yeah. that. Go inside. No, I made it onto the. No, I, I didn't. I wouldn't do the, that. I met someone here. That well, smoke's getting you there. The media but tower, he said, he said <laughs> he was well, I'll be honest with everything. you. Mm. And you he the, said, the, as he went in, he's on the smoke side. Come on in, you know, fist bumped it, but he had everything on his phone, and he said. They did come and get him mm. after that, you know. Mm-hmm. But he said, I had everything on my phone. Every, they invited me in. Mm-hmm. And there's the proof. Really? And he, they let him, you know. Wow. What do you, do? Yeah. you can't argue with the truth. You can't well, argue with the fact. You well, can't argue with the fact. But they've been, they've been, they've been arguing with some pretty blatant <laughs> truth. But you're right. For the most part, if it's documented, I mean, they can't. You've got that proof. Yeah, and know, it's it's right. not much they can do. It will always rise to the surface. It will always rise to the surface. And even with this COVID scam. Oh, oh. Absolutely. I hope you. I hope you all got your spirit up. Your little spidey senses going. From what I can observe, for Christians here, yeah, I just a serpent, gentle as a dove. I recently just got like good word. I got saved. I'm kind of like one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, right now. Yeah. 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 So you've been kind of, you've been seeing, you've been seeing that the outside isn't really working so well. Yeah. So you know, what is your, what is your other options? I went and tried the other side, and I was like, thought I could do better than you know, and I didn't have a great experience with Christianity growing up. It was just a bunch of religion and a bunch of hoopla, right? Yeah. I never saw the people that I, that said they were spiritual do anything. But you know what? I've decided that that's not going to determine my future, because the fact is, if you don't, if you if you don't get off the fence about God, then you're going to try to do it in your own strength. And I'm telling you, man, that road just don't work so well. Your option here's what you do. There's every reaction has an opposite reaction. So if you weren't here, what would you be doing? If you weren't following God, what would you be doing? You know, if you if you get off the fence, how much better could it be for you than if you were on the fence? There's a reaction. Action and opposite reaction. So while you're trying to do something, you may not know how you feel or what the value is. Think about where you would be if you weren't doing that. Would you be in a better place or would you be in a worse place? And then we move forward with the best step, and then we follow the you know obedience to where your spirit is leading you. And you get around good people that speak into your life, say you got it, bro. You got what it takes. God placed everything you need inside of you to go where His where His where He's calling you to go. It's all there. The provision is there within you and out in the world. But we have to take that step to get there. And if you don't take that step and you divert over here because this thing don't make sense, then suddenly you 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 are doing it just like you used to do it in your own strength. You're going over here. You've already been there. You've already tried that. That's interesting. And so just because you don't properly understand the kingdom of God and you don't see like it, it's it's making the impact and that you like and it's not like you hope it'd be, it's a journey to get there. Remember, where would you be if you didn't try it? Or where would you be if you weren't following God? That's the way I live my life right now. It's like 
I know if I don't take this route, so COVID got me off the fence, bro. I was a Christian, but I was one foot in, one foot out, and I didn't want to give up a lot of the ways I was living. And so, but my life wasn't that good. It was hard. And, and, and my drinking and my sleeping around was hurting me, and I didn't like it. And I would be I was like, well, it's just empty, bro. And, but I'm going to heaven if I die. Well, I might have because, God, I was under grace. But you can't live that way. It's not going to take. You want, if you have a dream and a, for your future and you believe that you got something big inside of you that God's calling you to and you want something, you can't get there on your own. And if you do, you're not going to, it's not going to be fulfilled. You know, happiness is one thing, but fulfillment is another. When you are fulfilled, oh man, bro, you don't need a bunch of money. You don't need all the stuff you thought you needed. You just, <laughs> the, there's, there's something in, there's a hole inside of each one of us that can only be filled by walking out what God has created you for. And I'm telling you, when you start to walk out and you start to find purpose in life, there's nothing more powerful than purpose, man. I mean, it, it just it just satisfies you at a level that no drugs or sex could ever satisfy you at. It don't matter if you haven't fully achieved it, but even a piece of it is better than the best thing the world could give you. And I've been there. Yeah. I tried it all, man. I went down the every other road, and they were all dead ends. And then I looked for pills, and there wasn't no magic pill. There wasn't no rescue boat coming to save me. There wasn't no angel coming out of the sky and singing Kumbaya over me, and boom, all of a sudden. No, it's, it's, you just go, and you put the work in, and you head where your spirit calls you. you got to understand yours. That's why it's so important to be filled with the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the one that guides and leads you into all truth. The Holy Spirit, not your opinions or ideas or thoughts. It's got to be the Holy Spirit that guides you and leads you in that place. And that's a process to get there. You know, it's, 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 it's not it's not an easy road, but man, is it fulfilling. Oh, man. I wouldn't give it up for all the booze and women and freaking the world. In these words, Good. resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's right. All you got to do bro. is resist. That's it. You don't have to win. You don't have to fight. You don't have to preach your brother. Re- uh-huh. <laughs> I was and starting to flee. He will flee <laughs> from you. And that is key. That is key. You just need to resist him. And stay focused. All that is necessary for you all the time is good men do nothing. Oh, bro. bro I wish I had that on the side of my truck, man. I, that's a good goat right there. <laughs> yeah, I want to put that on the side of my trailer yeah. now. Yeah. We need like an electronic like video of us just saying some powerful, yeah. powerful words and they just like put them on t shirts, man. Talk. We've all heard it. Like you're talking it's to truck. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. Yeah, well, we you put the message free. right on the side of your we truck. We can't give up, man. We can't, mm-hmm. we can't slow down one bit. We can't give up. I just said it. Uh, and we can't get numb to it. We can't say it like, oh, like we've said it on our time. Yeah, right, it's right. Happened. Cliche no, things, stay, yeah. No, stay firm and, and focus. Well. It's oh. always every. I lived in um, Blackshear, outside of Blackshear, for two years. I tried jumping off the hamster wheel. Hamster wheel? Yeah, you know, life, the, ham- the system, the hamster wheel. I tried jumping <laughs> off. I was like, let me try something else. Let me go shack oh, up yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a cornfield away from all this <laughs> and raise my family. And, the hamster wheel. So I ended up down in South. I call it. The, uh, the dirty south that's what I call it it's just the deep south Georgia because Florida I don't no offense if you're from Florida but I don't consider Florida the south I know it's cow country yeah, right, there, right, there is right, a real right, south right, in Florida right, yeah. there is a real south in Florida but yeah. man Georgia's some country I know man. south mm-hmm. Florida to me is like that's the bottom of the south right there and, that, and that's where I ended up I was 50 miles up from Florida 50 miles in from the coast and I ended up there to all sort of strange turn of events and whatever but there I was and uh, it was cool, man. Like I didn't, uh, it, my life didn't take off and was lucrative, but it was amazing, you know. It, mm-hmm. it was a great experience. Oh man, living season, in a motorhome. When when you are where you're supposed to be, home. man, that's just man. It, you don't have to have the best life when you're where you're supposed to be. To, uh, what I have, I had a, a, a single motorhome, no slide house, old, 88, 89. Oh, Kids sleeping on pallet What's beds in the mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, chickens out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it wasn't ideal, but probably good. Outdoor shower. Ooh, that's a little rough, huh? But, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. Here comes the gang. Some more of the gang. Oh, man, it's over here.
We got the old campfire revival breaking out right here, right? He got the shofar. That's one thing I want, man. Dude, I got a story about that shofar, man. Somebody blew that shofar over my head one time when I was in withdrawal from dope, bro. How'd that go? I'm telling you what. I was so tired. I hadn't slept in six days, and I was so exhausted and tired. I was going through withdrawals. And uh, because I got hooked on pain meds when I was in a tornado. I got 18 screws or 22 screws in his left arm. Had 18, rebroke it. They put more metal plates in it. Anyway, wow. and they took me off my pain meds. I'd never withdrawal. I didn't know what the heck it was. I grew up Amish. I didn't know what the heck withdrawal was. And they took me over to this, my cousin's house, and they put me in the middle of the room, and they all got around me to pray, all laid their hands on me, and I am literally in tears. I'm so unbelievably exhausted, sleep-deprived. And uh, and my cousin, his, her husband, had a shofar, and he's like, hey, guy. He walked in. He stood in the doorway, and he blew the shofar. And when he did, I felt something tingle in the bottom of the soles of my feet. This is no joke, bro. I'm telling you, I just... It, the bottom of my feet, and this thing came up through my body, up my legs, out my chest, out the top of my head. And when it came out of my head, I went like this. And I leaped probably two feet in the freaking air. And I just shouted like it was like, it's gone. Oh, my. Oh, it was like, and people were running around the room screaming. I ran, picked everybody up. It was the craziest thing. And I so far, when I hear that shofar blow, it just like tingles me, bro. It literally, the, the sound of the shofar pulled it straight up out of my body. That's awesome. It was unbelievable, man. One of the most incredible God moments I probably ever had. No doubt, man. It, was, it was amazing. I know there's power in the things, man. I, that resonance, that whatever it is, man, that thing, man, that thing's real. The problem is with drugs, no matter what happens, when you can't sleep. My, my problem was I could never sleep when I when I would get off. And then I ended up, I still couldn't sleep well. I had no more withdrawals, all totally wiped out in an instant. I still didn't sleep very well so nothing's ever been easy for me you know never had those big moments where it's like that i've had a lot of god moments but this work still there you know some people are like i was delivered and, and i never wanted drugs again and you know and mine was more of a journey man but uh, i had those moments those moments that marked my journey that just got me to hang in there and gave me hope and that's why i think i call myself a hope dealer because i can give you a little piece and maybe it just gives you one little piece or one little encouragement look i don't struggle with drugs anymore and people that came out of addiction they're like oh you're gonna struggle with drugs all your life no you're not you don't have to i mean a lot of people do and i understand that if some people need to be an aa or it doesn't have to be that way yeah yes it does not have to be that way we just haven't taught deliverance the, the church is scared of deliverance because the word deliverance makes it sound like you have a demon but that's not true. You, the, it, the, he said Jesus went around healing all those who were oppressed by the devil. Oppressed, not possessed. There's a difference. And the, the narrative about being put, about deliverance means that you're possessed is a false narrative that causes people to not want deliverance or not want to talk about it, not want to get deliverance because they think they're demon possessed. And that's just a lie to keep you bound because it scares you. Nobody wants to think we got a devil in a demon or no. No, no, no. I know you're a decent person, but really you're just evil. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So Let's take, yeah, I come up yeah. talking, I was like, devil, get out of here. And they're like, hey, whoa, I'm not possessed. Like, yeah, I've seen people talk like that and deliverance ministers preach like that. So, yeah, it's, but I think the church is coming into a time to where we are going, we are focusing a lot more on deliverance and understanding that most true problems that don't really make sense in your life is oppression from a spirit it's not possession it's oppression from a spirit and a lot of times it's from an open door or you know a curse i don't know i'm not an expert at it but it's, it's some something in it that that causes this unnatural amount of pressure on you and desire and whatever is doing that's taking you into a bad place depression ptsd I had PTSD real bad, but I believe a spirit gets attached to the PTSD. I'm not saying you were spirit possessed, but there are spirits that recognize the weakness in you and then they come in. It's a burden, if nothing else. Yeah, if nothing else, because the burden. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's just a burden that's put on you unnaturally and unfairly by something. Yeah. Yeah, that weighs on your spirit. Top. Holy smokes. Woo! Man, that campfire is badass, though. 
I think and I, I'm like, I think wow. I must have seen what you seen because I was like, they're not with the combos. Yeah. There were literally two of them. I was like, wait a minute. Because so I was, like, I was yeah, out front. Because I was like, guys I'm looking like, they're the helping truck, hold them back. The hand of God. Holy shit. Natural. Natural. He's got his own technique. Worse than this fire. When they stepped on it, the thing is to make it stink. More and more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I found one thing. Was, was it who was it? Him talking about not trusting everybody here. There's something really important for us to, to recognize and think about is that fact that you know I got I got little senses going off all the time. Even the, even I mean I, I, but just somebody that was just over here. I'm like I don't know. I met a lady in the uh, yeah, well not a bad vibe, but I wonder if they're not here to monitor and the actual part of the movement. I think a lot of there's a ton of I think there's a ton of people here that maybe they don't hate us. Maybe they're not here to I don't know bring something bad, but they're actually not with the convoy. They're actually it's a just, little different than a snitch. Yeah, a little different. Than that's right. Yeah, it's in the vein of, uh, yeah, it's 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 not good for the movement. First of all, what they're saying. Still getting away from that at this point. In this technological era that we're in. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Not just the publicly available open source live streaming. Yeah, but it's deeper than that. I know they can get in. You're right. You know, you're right. But when people come in here and they're intentionally doing that, it's it, it's not it's it, 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 it it's bad for the energy. It's bad for the vibe. It's bad for the cohesiveness and the unity because I was in the in the donation dealer last night and we were talking to me and my brother up there talked to this lady and I had a little bit of a weird vibe about her. And she was really friendly but just didn't seem to quite fit in. Then my little brother ended up talking to her for 30 minutes and he uh, people might call me a conspiracy theory. Some people might because I have followed a lot of rabbit holes and I don't believe them all but he's not and he's always telling me I'm out there and I'm too paranoid. And he, yeah, yeah. So he comes up to me. He's like, I think I'm losing my mind, man. Like, man, I got to quit hanging out with you and listening to you, bro. Because that way he begins to tell me that this woman, how she talked. And he started, his senses started going. He's like, nobody talks like that. Why are you being so, I love Jesus and everything. It was way, it was way too spiritual for who she was. And he was like, I guarantee she was feeling me out. And then she started saying things like, are we going into the capital? Are you guys willing to get out of your comfort zone and do more than circle the beltway if it comes to that? And like feeling him out. And then she was like, but listen to the spirit of God before you do anything. Like, And, and so anyway, it's like those types of things you start to step back. And, I wonder if these people are really with us, you know. So I don't say just anything to anybody because some, first of all, it's not necessary. And second of all. When I went to, um, me and my brother went to January 6th, like two nights before. I don't like to talk about what I plan to do in a month from now, in two months from now, in three months from now. You know, I'm kind of like, I'm like a see you when I see you kind of guy. You know, I don't, I, I don't if I don't call you, it's because I don't really care about the phone. You know, like, I just, overall, that crap. But we go down there, right? And after all the bullshit with January 6th occurred, all the good stuff happened. A lot of good there stuff. Was bullshit. Oh, yeah. It ended, yeah. I'm talking. The bullshit was already, it was already over there. Yeah. Swing. Yeah. And, uh, but afterwards, it was like they said, all of, uh, Bowser, Mary Bowser put in a curfew. She said, oh, yeah. Oh, you got to get in. Yeah. Six. People told me, get out of here. Get out of here. All right. I said, what was the purpose of us coming here today? Mm -hmm. It was to protest the stolen election mm -hmm. and, you know, try and uh, voice, have her voice be heard about the uh, Congress. Mm -hmm. about right. the they were going to certify the vote. So our voice be heard, right? That was the goal. That was the goal. That was yeah. the purpose. They, they have we're to destroy from that. The so, when we were leaving, we left before... And you know, yeah. craziness really. I mean, it was crazy, like, right? Not yeah, that crazy, mm -hmm. but the, the crazy people were doing crazy things. A few, a very right, small. right. It was very few, and those were suckered into. If it was one percent, I would be yeah. shocked. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, it might have been a hundred or two hundred, three hundred people. Right, there's a million people there. Shocked. Right, right. Anyway, we were leaving, and these, 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 this lady just, you know, of course it's random, right? Like this lady, I think your brother, you might have been. She comes up, she's like, "We're going to the mayor's house." 
Oh, this ad's not right, Mara. We're going oh, to the man. She's I'll come back as a back. Yeah, so she's going around saying this. She's doing it as everyone's leaving the ground. Right? She's posted up. She's I think I saw that next. lady. She's running around. And there may have been others. I don't know if she was a solo yeah, right. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, you know, as everyone leaves, yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, gonna gonna go. Gonna we got to go to the mayor's house. And she's yelling out the address. We got to go. You know, she's trying to steer everyone to go from the capital to the mayor's house. You're like, could you imagine if that came to what fruition? <laughs> and it went from January 6th oh, and all the, the mayor's house. And then next thing you know, we're storming out the mayor's house. And then the whole oh, God, the military's over there. You know, oh, God, it could have been a disaster. It could have been an absolute disaster. Yeah. But see, that is, yeah. And one thing that stood out to me, too, is right when it happened. Not the purpose. We are leaving. We are, yeah. And you know what? It wasn't our duty to make sure that the senators didn't certify the vote because we can't control people. No. We had our voice heard. And then at the end of the day, they still have to make up their mind. No. And the and eyes are now open. You know, praise the Lord that it didn't get certified. You know, we think it's open. We think we're losing. How many? But you know what? I've been studying this like my life depends on, and everyone does. Like, for 20 years since I was in the army, and I went over to two countries, watched two countries collapse. By our, you went over there, now the country. First of all, in Iraq, I watched two countries get collapsed, currencies shut down, military just collapsed, new government stood up. You know, as a uh, army infantry. Yeah, wow. NCO. And I saw that currency exchange, all that. It's a disaster. It's a mess. A lot of loss of life. A lot of innocent lives killed. It, it was a disaster. And it got me asking a lot of questions. 9 11, all that going on. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Wow. So, oh, where was it going? Uh, yeah, well, you oh, saw the, the point is, for 20 years now, I've been studying, 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 yeah. trying to maintain a life, raise a family, but studying, studying, studying. And figuring out why is this with the powers that be and how this is where and what the hell's going on. We know it's money, corruption, yada, yada, yada. But let's get down to the nuts and bolts of it so yeah. we can fix it. So we can problems. fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You've been looking under the hood. Right. So anyway, it, in the last... I'm right. Let's go. Well, Trump, when Trump got elected, but I'm not going to give him all the credit. I give God the credit. Yeah. He's using everyone from the yeah. little guy, the homeless guy on the corner, to Trump, to yeah. who? He's yeah. He's, you're everyone. right. Yeah. You're right. He's he is. in control. Yep. And you know what? I haven't been more hopeful. I haven't seen more good news. I haven't seen more people say, geez, you know what? This is wrong. Like, amen. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's wrong. Exactly. Don't normalize yeah. this yeah. evil. Don't yeah. just be like a bobber in the mm-hmm. ocean. Like, oh, there's nothing you <laughs> can do. About. I'm just there's, one person. Oh, what are you so upset about? There's nothing you can do to change it. Man. It's like bullshit. I disagree. Man, yeah. What, what's that? What's that one famous quote? Um, never doubt that a small group of people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Wow! It does not take the majority to change the world. It, it takes a tireless majority. minority. Never a tireless doubt that minority. A small group of people can change the world. Indeed, That's it good. Is the only thing that ever, ever has. Cha- has changed the world. So, how about and, and that? that is true. Wow. Whether you're corrupt or you're good and righteous, because you know, yeah. the fact, that's a true statement. I believe. Mm-hmm. You know? So, that's absolutely, that's the attitude we have to take. Because if we're waiting for the whole world to come and help to our aid, it's not going to happen. No, you'll not, I mean, even like even when this country was 20, founded, right around yeah. Indian slings, bad calls on generals, and, yeah. And <laughs> Wrong, wrong. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. right. Uh, but it's a shower. It's escalation of violence. It's kind yeah. of a, you know, tip of cat. That's right, just mm-hmm. typical of, of animals. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, typical of animals. When you look at, like, how a country is founded, I mean, yeah. it's a small group of people. It's always a small group of people. It's the it only thing. That's you don't good have quote. a majority. You don't yeah. have 50%. It's yeah. a small And it never looks like there's enough. It never looks like there's it's enough. It always looks... Yeah. Yeah, the, when they went and signed the Constitution in 1776, they didn't have enough people to take on the French army. 1787. 17, okay. We sent the, declaration. the Declaration of Independence. And 11 yeah. years of war. 11, and yeah. And we didn't. they didn't have enough people. 11 years of war. So, Lord Jesus, please don't give us 11 years of war this time. No. What do we need to do so we can break through in a couple? We've already been in a couple years. This thing's already in, been going on for a couple years, so... No. 
Oh, man. It, it, there's no greater time to be alive, even though there's a lot of, it's painful to watch some of this stuff. It's difficult, man. It's, it's difficult because people, yeah, it, it is hard. It is, life is hard, man. It is hard. It's, uh, it's not easy. Yeah. It shouldn't be this hard. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is free. It shouldn't be this hard. They've got some up front, yes. too. Oh, yeah, yeah the uh, Robert hurt. Kennedy book. You know, I have a hard time having yeah. Yeah. mercy for this dude. He's got like this, he's got like this got red 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 Robin Hood thing going on right now. Yeah. Well, you're nice about it. <laughs> yeah. And then I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm eye for an eye. Turn the cheek. Oh, well, not the cheek. I think the, the, word. the cup of iniquities is about full, so he might get his judgment. Oh, Fauci might, uh, he might not be able to, he, he won't escape it. I don't know if it's in this life or the next, but he won't escape it. You got word in mind. Psalms, Psalms 103. Oh, read the word. Psalms is my favorite book. This is too weird tonight. This is Ooh, really you got to read Psalms 35, too. my favorite book. Out of all of them. Psalms 103. Let's get in the fire. That's, that's, that's good stuff. It fits right now, too, because old David was battered and beaten and worn. <laughs> well, we just so No, in the I meant it was weird God. that he went to my favorite book, and she just happened to walk up and say that, and he goes to my favorite book. That's why I'm like, what just happened? Like, I don't, I got chills. And it's not even a whole start. Because that was so weird. I'm telling you, that is my favorite book. I go to that all the time. It's not even mine, dude. I just keep it. Okay, praise the Lord, I nice. tell myself. Yeah, with my whole deep heart, deep. I will praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, I tell myself. Yes. And never forget the good good things he has done for me. Amen. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He ransoms me from death and surrounds me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses. Stand up and his, all who are treated unfairly. Yes, yes. He, he fills my life with good things. My, my youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. Come yes. on, baby. Come on. He yes, Lord. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious. He is slow to get angry and full of unfailing love. He will not <laughs> constantly accuse us, nor remain angry forever. He has not punished us for all of our sins, nor does he deal with us as we deserve. For his unfailing love toward those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He, is removed, he has removed the rebellious acts as far as away from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he understands how weak we are. He knows we are only dust. Mm -hmm. Only days, uh, our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and die. The wind blows us and we are gone as though we had never been here. But the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear him. His Come salvation on. extends to the children's children of those who Let are faithful to his covenant, of those Let who obey his Lord. commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty creatures who carry out his plans, listening for each of his commands. We Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created everywhere in his kingdom. As for me, I too will praise the Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Wow. Lord. Lord. Yes. Is this, is this Lord. the one you had? Yes. That's crazy yes. how this all just worked out. That's just yours? in a few minutes. That's like, yeah. <laughs> That's hers. That's hers. <laughs> Man, that resonance, boy, that sound. That's right here on the yeah. fireplace. Yes. Mm. There's so many different connections, man. God, no, just man. Fireplace. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fiery revival. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you guys. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says they overcome him by the word of their testimony. Mm -hmm. 
and the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Brother, he has a powerful testimony. I believe you heard him. But the more you hear it, it builds something. Mm. Man, you survived from the tornado. <laughs> how many people died? Five people. Can you explain? Yeah. We want to see how God has saved you. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, my tornado story is uh, March of 2nd of 2012. I was in living in a double wide, and my neighbors lived in a trailer. They, uh, my buddy, his girlfriend, and their three kids, and we knew the tornado was coming, but I, you know, I didn't, it was going to miss us. Okay, here, here's where the crazy part I didn't tell you. I was watching it on the news. It was about 20 miles south of me, and it was heading east so it was going to miss me i called my girlfriend and i said it's going to miss us no worries i walked out of the house 20 minutes later and i looked and it's coming over the hill straight at us literally coming over the top of a hill about a quarter mile away and it looked like a freight train sideways just mm. black full of debris there was a sawmill it just picked up and all the lumber was in the air wow. so i ran over i heard screaming and i ran next door and uh, she my neighbor's girlfriend standing outside holding the baby and uh, he's coming out of the trailer with the other kid and the, the other girl her name was angel there was three year old a two year old and a three months old mm. a two year old a 15 months old there's a three-year-old, a 15-month-old, and a two-month-old baby. But the girl, I grabbed the little girl named Angel, and we ran over into my house because they lived in a trailer. And I ran in the door, and we th- we got down in the hallway. I was yelling at him, you get down, get down. I threw pillows at him, and we're huddled down there, and you could hear this thing roaring. I ran over and grabbed the door, opened up the door, looked out the front door, and it was literally ripping the side of my garage off. Right there, I just remember shouldering the door. I dropped my shoulder, shouldered the door shut, took three or four jumps, landed on top of this family and they are screaming bloody murder at this point and I just start praying out as loud as I could and it hit the house I mean that's all you, you we knew we were basically going to die at that moment it was so raw man we it was that powerful it grabbed the house and shook the house like a like a animal shakes a little you know mouse and the whole house just shook like this and it, the second time the house shook it I felt it pop it was a double wide sitting on a foundation it just the whole house just popped right up off the foundation mm. Start, it come up and I remember the explosion I thought the windows blew out and I you know thinking the glass is going to hit me and uh, and, and then I blacked out. Mm. Mm. What happened is it came over the tornado, came so squarely over the house that it literally, we were in the eye of the tornado, right in the eye of the storm. Wow. It picked up the whole house off the foundation and then I blacked out. When I woke up, I was maybe a couple hundred feet in the air and I was flying literally around. I remember I was laying like this. There's a two by four laying here and I looked down and I saw the green grass way down below me and I'm thinking, oh, how am I gonna get down? <laughs> That was my thought that went through my head. Was, How am I gonna get down? And uh, I blacked back out, and when I woke up, I was—I didn't know where. I was probably a quarter mile away in a field somewhere. Wow! Not not, wow. not blemished. Not. Oh no, I was hurt bad. I was hurt bad, but I landed on this left shoulder. I landed on this. What it what it did is it picked me up. The house came apart. They went through the side of the house just like a darn, yeah. just like a blender, bro. It was bad. And so, we, and then I got pulled right on up the tube, man. I obviously got sucked right on up the eye of this tornado, spun around, and then when it threw me out, it threw me a freaking quarter mile away. Wow. wow. There's no way you can survive. I always say, when I get to heaven, I'm like, Lord, I want to see a replay. <laughs> How did I get out of that? <laughs> but it was angels in there. My sister had a vision of me up there, God picking me up above the mess and holding me up there because I was in a bad relationship I was not in a good place and then throwing me and the angels helping me down but uh, you know I, I got I landed on this arm I broke 20, I broke 14 bones and uh, you know didn't know who I was had amnesia and I was in the hospital before I found out that the family had died but they all the little girl angel the one I carried was uh, was alive when they found her uh, but she was going to have brain damage she was going to be a vegetable so her parents told her to take her off life support so and then from there, that's how I got into drugs, too. I got on pain meds, got hooked on my pills, went through detox. Yeah, went through the detox, and then I couldn't sleep for so long. And then that story actually began. I was just telling him, 
I was six days, I think, something like that, that I didn't sleep. Just there's, if anybody's ever gone through that kind of sleep deprivation, you literally lose your mind. Yeah. You lose your mind. There's just nothing like it. And so they got, they took me to my cousin's house, and they all got around me to pray over me. And they were praying over me. My 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 cousin's husband walks out, and he's holding the shofar, and he blows that shofar over the top of my head. And to this day, I almost can't tell this without crying because I felt it in the soles of my feet, and it came from the soles of my feet up through my body, through my chest, out the top of my head. And when it came out of the top of my head, I just did this. I just leaped straight up out of the air, what is and this? I was screaming the detox. The the, uh, the withdrawal, withdrawal <laughs> literally <laughs> came straight up out of the top of my head. From the show, he said, from the, blew the shofar. Okay. He blew the shofar. When he blew the shofar, it what? came up you gotta hit. out of my body what? and out of the top of my head. Because I Who had awesome this? things in the spiritual Some, happen. I, that, I'm not so, sure. Did you just do it next to you or around you or, or over your yeah, head? Over. Well, uh, um, he, he was standing a st- on a step. So he was it was right over my head, probably like here to where he's standing, and he blew it. But when he blew it and the sound left the thing, I literally felt it from the soles of my feet. It was maybe the first time that I really felt the power of God in my body. And I hadn't slept, remember, in six days. I was so wow. tormented with this with this withdrawal. Right. And I and I was running around. Everybody was screaming at the top of their heads. I was picking up people. It was totally just one of the wildest moments. Right. And that was like the God moment for me that, that I knew that got me through. I got, went into a horrible addiction after that, right? Um, that's when I got into street drugs because the doctors quit prescribing my meds. And it went down downhill, brother. But that was, the, you know, that's... The, the beginning of how I went into this really dark hole, man. And these God moments throughout this, including the story that I shared about this time at my worst, when this guy picked me up and brought me onto his property and he had prayed over the property, put this bloodline. He said he had anointed the corners of his property, stood on the driveway and said, Lord Jesus, no spirit, no withdrawal, no drug addiction will enter this property. Right. And when I when I went... Four corners of D.C. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ooh. And, and when, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it. Hey, we'll we've been declaring it. Josh, let's goal, do man. it. Yeah. I was, I'm telling you, it's making a difference, man. But but a lot of this stuff is a journey, right? It's a process. And that's what it was for me. And uh, so when I pulled over that the property line, that was the beginning. Within a couple months, this whole thing started where I went, you know, obviously I went through hell again, but I got sober. I never went, never looked back, man. Yeah. Never look oh, back. Don't stop coming, man. You know, so. Yeah. But at least you could put addiction behind you and take that testimony. Well, yeah, it wasn't yeah. near the end of the testimony. This. Yeah. Wow, how powerful that man. is. Man. Where you're at. Yeah, uh, you're I went through, I went through, uh, you know, in the hospital for 15 days with 20, with 14 broken bones. I got, right now, I got 22 screws in this left arm. Wow. But I, uh, the, still, the addiction was probably the worst part of it. I almost would go through the hospital again before I go through the withdrawals. But that's the power that addiction has on you. The addiction to Somebody talked about pharmacia, yeah. that spirit of pharmacia, man, I'm telling you, it's so powerful. Yes. It grips you. It is not just a natural thing your body desires. Yeah, there's a natural aspect to it. Mm-hmm. But if you don't understand that addiction and all these things we battle with, mm-hmm. man, these things are are uh, oppression from the mm-hmm. devil. Yeah. It's not yeah. just, I want a drug or I need this. No, it's oppression from the devil. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's possession, but a lot of times it's just oppression. Right, 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 right. And we have battled this thing and we get sober. I got sober many times, mm-hmm. but I never... Got you know got the monkey off my back right. so to speak yes. the devil off my back so and I, I wanted to ask I can't I can't recall the exact um, scripture but I know I believe it's Old Testament there's um, I don't know if it's Acts or Numbers or something but it talks about how one of the kings was getting out of control and there was a battle coming and God had assembled the armies from all across and He had brought so many thousands from here and He had brought tens of thousands from here does anyone know or can speak to that. Uh, Does it ring a bell? Oh, I'm sorry, it's vague, but somewhere in there, it's well, there tough. was one where I know that he they that they trusted God uh, to send send the armies um, early around like the east for the back part. But they came from like all over, different tribes, right? 
Yeah. He's talking about 12 guys, oh, 12 guys of David. And we've been well, but I'm sorry it's vague. I wish I could get like to bang it out. In the story, all the time, and we got the word. All these guys raising the army now. You don't know, and you don't know where they, you know, where they all are. You can't ID them all, right? But God is raising. Brother, y'all would see a glimpse of what God can do. Oh, what's really happening? Yeah. We can wake up like this. Man, there's two shapes. So check it. Oh yeah. Back then, right? You know. Wow. You know, obviously, it's old. Hey, what's up? Shoot, I thought it maybe I was in the middle of telling a story. Did she leave? Yeah. Oh, your last shit. I should have walked out there. Right. Dude, just had this old yeah. I've met so many people through all this stuff. I've met the amazing people that, I mean, like I said, I know I'm the form, like I told them, I'm just getting back to it. I'm like, I've been struggling with my faith. I'm my own now. Uh-uh. That's the first thing, right? Phoning it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's the first yeah. thing. The foundation we is we're all sinners. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so we're we're all, yes. We've all got something, got something we struggle with, I guarantee you. To battle yeah. against yeah. this huge yeah. evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be real at all. When people ask me, am I scared? Right? I'm like, I'm more scared right dealing with the devilish stuff that's going on. But that check I am dying in. for but Christ and yeah. the yeah. people. Yeah. I'm more scared. Well, yeah, so God. Same thing as fear God. Same thing as fear God. It's God. So just the test. Fear God. 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 God takes armies from all across regions and different tribes. They don't speak the same language. They don't have email. They don't have nothing. They're not like light signal, nothing. But somehow God has the power to assemble armies from all across the globe in full battle rattle. Their best warriors, 25,000 men, march across the desert, ready to go to war against evil. How does, you know, that's the power of God, and we can't understand it. Right. Know this, that and it is written in the Bible, and it is recalled that he's able to assemble armies from, you know, 50,000. Right. And, I, and I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to misquote. Like I said, it's vague, but I, I've yeah. read it before. He brings 25,000 men, 35,000 baddest warriors of the righteous so tribes, and he's bringing them in. And all of a sudden, these armies are just assembled under God's banner. Mm. Yes, yes. Amen. In full battle rap. Yes. Righteous and ready right. to do battle against evil in God's name. It's and coming back, baby. This, it's happening. This is before he's raising them right now. Phones, Instagram, Facebook, censorship, you name it. Yes. You know, all of it. Right. Before any of that, God will just be well, yes, and ready to go. I, Do it again. I, if we honor him. Yes. Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. I you that, that God is working. We know this, yeah. but it's That's great. That's a hope dealer. Right. Deal. That's a hope dealer right there. He's dealing that hope. Big evil that we're looking at. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. I'm John. Oh, John. John. Mm. Tornado guy. Yeah. What's your name? Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason, yeah. Jason. Jason. Hey, John, Justin, Alex. I've, I've met a hundred J's. Yeah, yeah, there's too many of us, right? You know, you are story. It teaches me. I really What's learn that? everything every day. I know I'm a pastor, but I'm many because the Bible says nobody knows it all. Yeah. We'll figure it out when the Lord showed up. He said, we'll know it all. Yeah. We see through the glasses. Mm-hmm. It don't stop. Like we are pours from the north on a rain, you see snow, like a misty, frosty on a, on a windshield, you can't see, you gotta go and scrape it. That's what the Bible says. Mm-hmm. When Jesus showed up, automatically, you know it all. Your story, your testimony teaches me a powerful mercy of God. Yeah, excellent. And then here we see a prophet, Hosea. Went to marry a prostitute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the story behind it was God is showing love to the children of Israel. Yeah. You know the story. Mm-hmm. And somebody asked me, there are a lot of conservative Christian denomination hierarchy who are self righteous like Jonah. Because mm-hmm. I was like one before like that. Mm-hmm. But the Lord is teaching me every single day as I humble myself. Jonah has issues himself. Mm. God told him, go to preaching the people. They're going to repent. Mm. And I'm going to forgive him. That's our father. Mm. Mm. But the, 
he said, I know you, God. If I go there, I'll preach. They will repent and they will forgive them. So what? Where should I go? <laughs> this guy's crazy, right? He didn't like that. So he wanted he to go pissed. anywhere. They yeah, stole on that tree. Like what? What in the world? Yeah. The world? Yeah. yeah. And he said, I know you're gonna forgive them. So mm -hmm. why you send me? Mm -hmm. God, he loved those people. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Eventually, went to the king and the, everybody they repented and God forgave them. So somebody asked. There's a, some guys running around and say, don't listen to Elevation song, Bethel music, don't listen right, 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 uh, right. to uh, Hill song, they are way wide, way wide. Right, right, right. So one time I said, Lord, let me ask you, can you, can you really tell me what's going on? Mm -hmm. Man, the Lord is saying, I heard in my spirit, you know, God, he can talk audible voice mm -hmm. and the knowing, just the knowing. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's automatically, you know, oh, yeah. I know it. Oh, it's resonance somebody. has a resonance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he said, my mercy is not like you think. My ways is not like you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm full of compassion and I love them. Yes. Mm. You may think if they are dirt, they are wayward, but God love for heal song. Mm -hmm. That's what he told me. Mm -hmm. And your story is a confirmation. Mm -hmm. God story, saved yes. you with a mighty hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. But guess yeah. what? From the death bird, man, you went to wayward, was not used. It's the influence of demons, right? Right. And still God love you. Mm -hmm. You are a great mm -hmm. man of God today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, his love, man. I yeah. stop judging people, man. I'm mm -hmm. not judging right, God. Right. Right. Come on, brother. <laughs> Preach it, man. Yeah. Come on, man. We we I still got problems, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. But by the grace of God, I'm overcoming them, and I'm still walking victorious because I live in a place of forgiveness. Yeah. I live in a place of repentance. It's not yes, something yes. you have to do before you go to bed so you don't go to hell. Like You live in this place, and you don't accept right. your faults, but you also understand it's your flesh the spirit of god is, is 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 the grace is on your life you don't take advantage of it but you walk in it and you together you and the holy spirit with the grace of god and the repentance it mm -hmm. you and none of us are above any of it mm -hmm. judgment from christians especially people that have overcame a lot is the most dangerous thing because i would see it and i would be like man i can never do that man i've tried so hard I, he got there well good for him but i, I just can't do it right i'm just too weak yeah. and that is this lie that automatically traps you back and keeps Keeps yeah, you there. Yeah, it's not about where you're not. It's about where you came from. That's the power of the testimony. Because yeah. it shows where you were. You want to go there and you're only here. But you look at this distance. And you're like, oh, man. Then you look at his distance. And together it brings a hope. And all of it. Like, mm -hmm. if, man, we can do this, right? Yeah. And also. We can, it's a journey to get God. there. Mm -hmm. he, he's not like us. Right, right, right. right. God is very <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God. Ah, <laughs> yeah, he's so <laughs> to anger. A lot of pastors yeah. and preachers, we have heart people. And people say church heart. Because mm -hmm. religious people, they want to sit down and, and teach Jesus. He's God. Yeah. They say, you can't forgive a woman. You can't. You can't forgive. He said, I'm God. What you talk about? <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm, you just a minion. Like, okay. dude, it's like you took, you took a uh, Play-Doh. You Play-Doh. That's what God is saying in Isaiah. You are, you are partial. He took a Play-Doh and he made it these people. He said, I made you through my hand. So oh, think about right. you. You made the minion people, right? Mm -hmm. Minions from a powder. Okay. And minions, they, they, yeah. they tell you what to do. You say, I just <laughs> made you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so God is but, really slow to anger, man. Mm -hmm. We sometimes, we, we, we rush to judge people, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. not the way thing. Mm -hmm. Don't mistake. It's not like we live in the sin. Mm, no, right, no. right, 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 oh, right, right. Yeah. Hell, man. Yeah. yeah. We gotta treat you the truth, mm. but he has this grace thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we need us both. We need to also seek and, and thirst righteousness. I mean, if we if yes. we want to get into that yes. spiritual battle, that war war yes. front. Get in some sacrifice time right, right, in right. a daily routine yes, to yes, where yes. you can get in that closet, you can mm -hmm. put on that fight, you can strap on the helmet of salvation <laughs> and, right. and, and just the, the belt of what is truth mm -hmm. and the breastplate of righteousness. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean you got yeah. of Yes, you've got to stay guarded. The good men can't stand yes. because they fall victim well, to well, sin we got and some, over and we over. Got some and they're traitors here. here. And they're right. adulterers, oh, yeah, and they're thieves, yeah, yeah. and they're oh, taking yeah. money, and they're, you know they're taking taxpayer right, right, right. dollars. And they can't even look you, know, you in the eye. They're not going to be like, well, Flee I can't. St you know, the senator says, oh, I, not, I'm not picking anybody out, but this is how it works, right? Well, I, I got caught with my pants down, so I can't do that because I'm blackmailed. So all the people are like, yo, you got to cut this hey, out. Felix. You know what I mean? And he's like, well, I going, will, but 
But because I lack righteousness, because I lack righteousness, I cannot see. That's funny. That's funny. That's very true. But if God's right, you have to seek righteousness. If you walk, if you walk away from that righteousness, don't strive for it. To put not yourself on a pedestal, but to stand up before God in His righteousness and walk righteous. Guess what? You will fall, and they will hold that on you and keep you down, and you cannot stand against it. Yes, and may we rise up. With that, because not the perfect, counting, perfect, yes, but the accountability we're level, we're called. Right, we're called right, right, children right. of God. We're called yeah. to a higher yeah. level. Yeah. We need to hold ourselves accountable yeah. and be the example. That's mm-hmm. why we need yeah. to get yeah. that prayer, that that spiritual right. realm of things, putting that mm-hmm. battle, that front, getting in the Word, mm-hmm. being strapped up and prepared, mm-hmm. man. Because mm-hmm. if we don't, we're not going to be equipped. Mm-hmm. Right? We need yeah. to yeah. hold ourselves accountable. Yeah. Right. Walk yeah, it's not magic. Right. It don't just happen. Yes, because yes, because when we do. Just like, just as he said, he was mentioning that Old Testament story, and he had said at Acts, which is at, which is New Testament actually. But you said it so perfectly because just like what we're talking about, he mentioned Acts because Acts is where the day of Pentecost came, and that's when the Holy Spirit fell upon the disciples. And just like you were talking about all of the different tribes, they were gathered for a Jewish festival, and it was people from all different lands and all different languages, and they. They were all there at this Jewish yeah. festival. Yeah. And the Spirit of the Lord oh, fell, on on them. Them. fell on them. And, and they, they spoke the word. Hey, we give power by the Spirit of the Lord. And they all understood it in their native tongue. I'm they ministered to them in their native tongue. And they were from all around the world, all different places, all different regions. And that was. Yes. Come on. The power is people up again. I'm telling you, uh, me, I'm not judging nobody. This is why I come up preaching. with the gloss of something. <laughs> hey, hey, he's a preacher. Hey, 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 we, hey, we thought we were almost done with this fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Saul, King Saul went to the camp of the prophet. But his name. When he got to the atmosphere, he started prophesying. So the whole villages and the people said, man, is this also a prophet? He prophesied all day. Yeah. Whenever all day, somebody man. come this far, you just need it's going to preach the gospel. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And you said, and you said the film, <laughs> if we decide to film it, we can do that. Oh, it's not about the show. It's not. It's not. That's why it has to be in agreement. Like, what a table to give God that glory. What do you do? Now you can do it. Praise God. This is what Felix, brother is sober, I'm telling you, there's the presence of God. He showed up <laughs> and he, be, he become a preacher. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was a holding preacher in his mother's room. <laughs> oh, he, he was holding. He, he just was told holding the horrible. My God, 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 God make the preachers here. Look, when I was two. Mm-hmm. A lady said I was going to be a preacher when I was two. When my grandma died, I worshipped to casting crowns at her funeral. Mm. Everybody got mad. I said, I don't know about you, but that's not my grandma laying there. So my grandma's at home. Mm. I said, that's that's not her. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And everybody... Mm. <laughs> Couldn't grasp So it. afterwards, we go to a dinner. And some old lady comes up. She says, I told you when he was two, he was going to be a preacher. Mm. <laughs> because I was so hyper. I had a loud voice. Mm. I was just, Zoof. but mm. they want to put dope in to keep me calm. Right. Yeah. Bubba, they're crushing the zeal. Yeah. They're mm. killing the spirit in right. these kids. Right. 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 Don't yeah. let them crush the spirit no. in any kid. Yeah. Let right. them be that fireball for the mm. Lord. Yeah. Bust that button, drive mm. the devil far from them, <laughs> and they'll calm down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what's, what's that? happening when I bust the button. What's that millstone scripture that God says it's better to hang a millstone <laughs> off the, yeah. than yeah. to ruin Rather than to harm one yes. of these little ones. Yes. You know, it's better that a millstone be hanged around their neck and they be cast into the sea than they harm one of my little ones. Justin, Justin. What does that mean, harming them? I mean, I, I, I mean, lots of aspects, but we could talk about the vaccine. We could talk about any other many thing that, things, you know, many, 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 many different aspects many, of that that, that that are happening right now. The indoctrination in our schools is harming our little ones, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Not only then, but... Uh, 
There's There's children he's talking about there. Quench that fire, baby. And not only the little children. Not only the little ones, yeah. 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 The other ones. Yeah, are still his children. That's a good point, yeah. He is, yeah. Still his children. Yeah, yeah. I I agree with you, yeah. I know. know, To harm my my little ones, yeah. But it's not that. Yeah, we're all children of God, for sure. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, what do you say you got a right to book <laughs> And that book is going to open door for TV. We got a what? You, know, you got a right to book. Oh, right to book. And I'm the sure book is going to open doors. I, I see you in the Sid Roth TV. Hey. Hey, somebody, TV. somebody gifted me this book. And you're oh, preaching about two and a half months God ago. said well, you're allowed well, to preach it at us. I have, okay. And I, I have you yeah. might brush it, yeah, I don't know. but I've seen the <laughs> gift that God gave you. Preach there, and, and, and preaching, sharing and testimony of God. It's called the goodness I, gospel. I, I, I don't see myself as what a normal preacher would be, but I love sharing so stories, wrong. right? Oh, and sometimes yeah. that's you know everybody has their own style. Maybe, that so. A year ago, I was terrified to speak in front of people, and this lady came up to me, and we were, she was like, revival, she said, though. "What would you?" She said, "What would we were talking about? What would we want if we could ask anything from God? What would you want?" And I said, I would want that I don't care about what people think about me. Because I know I have something inside of me, but I care about what people think, so I can't live my own life. And she looked at me and said, well, why don't we pray about that? And I was like, oh, I never thought about that. She prayed over me that I wouldn't care about what men thought and that I would just live out what God called me to. And within a couple of weeks, I was speaking in front of 400 people. And there wasn't barely a shimmer inside of me. And I got off the stage and I'm like, I'm terrified of speaking in front of people. How is this possible? And I started to recognize that from that time that woman prayed for me, I started to shift. Something started to shift in me. And it's like finding that one person, that that moment, that let, be bold enough to let people pray for you, for you to pray for people, because that might be the moment that shifts for somebody. That's right. You don't know what it's gonna, what, what's going to shift. You don't know what you said that's going to impact somebody else. February 23rd was at the top of that page. Oh, my gosh. The day they kicked this off. Oh, my goodness. And if it wasn't confirmation from the Lord that this revival was mm. this, it's like, God, give me a preview. You gave me a preview. A prophetic gift, I'm don't you? with you. I had shut down I all my stuff. You got a little prophecy and coming out here. God is glory, man. God is Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's okay. Plus, God is really nice. Everyone of us. Everyone of us. Like, legit, we have a little something to say. We do, right. We have something that we are that we have authority in. We all have something that we have authority in. I felt like that was him. Because I'm like, God's level. And he's been in the truck. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's time. It's now. It's time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody has to find that. P- yes, yes, that's it. Working together, we can't be fat, overweight Americans. Yeah, yeah. We all, yeah. The so called body of Christ is, oh, we got everything. Right. But it must fitly, they must fitly work together. It works together well. My son is Christian. Christian, I'm Jason. Christy? 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 Yeah. Oh, Jason, nice to meet you, Christy. Mm-hmm. You're staying warm in the coveralls. I like that. I barely had enough clothes here for cold nights. She's she going on, yeah. the, on the space. She's on the space. Uh, space she's, she's, me. Shoo, well, how about you go and tell us how it is up there? Get closer to heaven, man. See if it's a little bit better connection, right? <laughs> the people that went up there probably wasn't paying no attention to that. Yeah. Space I'm suit, baby. You, America need deliverance. My right. son. My yes, because, because I was a white witch pagan, mm. but a white witch I thought, you know, good. I didn't believe in the devil, Satan, evil, none of that. Yes. Like, I and can. I knew, like, when I got and saved, I was like, this country doesn't see idols you know for demons in the way, Haiti, so then, hey, all over mm. Africa. Right. I, you know, I was faced like, with deliverances am I gonna like have this. Enough so money to we're so... That's just Hollywood, yeah. shape-shifting, this, whatever, vampires say, that's all going to happen, and men's hard to well, the fear. It, we but it's like, like we who know, <laughs> and it said, like, in a all the like and all the person we know is demon-possessed, and, and, and a we're like, so we just got going to Jesus under our breath, <laughs> we're getting ready to go into Florida right now, and it's already, you know? I just have to work, I told you to go in, I'll go at night, whatever, during the week, but weekends, I'm ready to roll, I'll roll at night, I'll roll all night long, I'll do it anyway, so, oh, yeah, okay. Got to do to get it yeah. What are you? Just, the yeah, the, there's a spiritual. Oh, oh yeah, the deliverance is what it was, right? So it's like, it was like whether for a show for mm-hmm. or casting out, you know, like 
Everybody's got their, yeah. America doesn't get that because it reminds God. America, America, America is asleep. No? Like, America so is asleep in the wheel. And here we are. We have control. We need to wake up. We need to wake up America. Well, it's happening, but it's a little slower than we like. Yeah, yeah. But it is happening. Yeah, it is happening. It is happening. I did it hard. It just it just ain't as quick as we like. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I posted. I sent this to my agent. Good morning. Good job. Fashion point in the right direction. I'm interested in the stuff. Some people like too much sweet. And anything else that is extra for retirement that I can stop. I would like to 